put how many people off the street with that money? Yeah. Good job, Chris! Woo! So, as you can see, we have caution tape again. Let's not clean up the streets. Let's not uh, fix the roads. Let's not deal with anything. Let's argue about rail and not humanity. Where are your hard hats? This looks like a dangerous area. Where's your hard hats? Put them on! Who got my car washed in? Is this a dangerous area? Or is this just an area you don't want to? We have the Aloha is here, right? All the Aloha has come to show us their Aloha. And here's our food. Make legislation to make their crime legal. Then they use it. As you can see, it was us and them. Us and them. So this is a shot of all of the equipment that they brought today. Oh yes. Look at we have bulldozers, dump trucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, Look at seven. All of this expense. Cop cars. What, what the hell? They sure ain't here for the dog ah, people. Ah, ah, ah. Two, two cop cars. cars. Ah, ah, ah. Mercy, mercy, mercy. That's not a boat. <laughs> <laughs> They, I don't know, but they've been doing it. It's not like this is something new. We bury patches when we bury them. Hey, my grandparents, and for me and you, we'll find patches too. That's why we have Cubans. This is against the word of God. The Bible does not teach us to be like this toward one another. This was not the teachings of Christ. This is the teachings of Carlisle, not Christ. <laughs> we should all just come here with rent uniforms from Party City and just run around the party. <laughs> Who goes to church? Who goes to church, for real? Who goes to church? Oh, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Never mind. That makes a lot of sense. So, we're approximately two or three hundred feet away from where the tents actually are. They don't like it when we're up close filming their shenanigans. I don't know. Who are you serving? Who are you protecting? Oh, there she goes. She's about to place it on there. Now look at this skill. Look at this skill. Oh, look Here's at that four. Detail. It takes two people to put a piece of paper on a trick. <laughs> you know, church gets eighty thousand dollars. How much does he make? That is at least a hundred and fifty thousand dollar a year job. Thank you. 
basketball player of fucking staples, he can be the only person that can have a pair of players, Wesley Chun. Yeah. He's a civil engineer. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's just kind of chilling down here. This is a historic park. How dare you drive all these vehicles around on the grass and screw it up? I think we surpassed the two hundred thousand dollar mark to staple. <laughs> yeah, I think I think we're infringing on that. And that's what do you mean two hundred thousand dollars? No, 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 we're more or less eighteen eighty nine too. You guys have been very, very kind no, to with their salaries. Oh with their the salaries. And uh, we are well, yeah. Alan that. there makes a good chunk. And I, I thank you guys a lot. He makes a good chunk. But I don't want to pick on him, he's a good guy. You know, I wanna walk and walk as much as I talk to talk. About two hundred thousand dollars to staple labels. Yeah. It is my my mission yeah, from the Lord does. to stand up for I, what I, I know is that. right and what He wants me to do. And I don't hate you. I know you got to pay your bills. You got to feed your kids. You got to put gas in your car. Church is a lawyer though, running around it's the okay. island stapling stuff. Does it seem like for use? You. It wasn't put to good use. Then. May he shine his face. It's like upon someone you going to getting a physics degree and working at McDonald's. <laughs> what are you guys gonna do when Carlisle gets fired? You're all fucked. I mean, has anybody realized that? Well, that's she's not a lawyer. Good lawyer. You know, they don't well, enjoy I don't know about good lawyer, but she should be a well-paid no, lawyer. Mostly they won't ever have I mean, to get a degree and all. They got Trish and Wes and and all fucking Carlisle's little crony friends. You know they're out of a job when he loses his job. And find out for yourself. Like seriously, find out for yourself. You in the hat with the pants on. You in the hat with the pants on. You two in the shorts right here. You gotta make sure you have pants on around here. Find out for yourself. Google 
four for three. Google foreclosure. Talk to some of your friends. Illegal foreclosures are happening all over. Illegal foreclosures. Find out why we really go to war. What ends up happening when we go to war? Somebody rich on top well, all of a sudden gets majorly rich. Richer. Things can be causing them problems. Is that yours? And it's the thing that we stand against. Mine was the one on the left. That's why we're here. We're not here to be an eyesore. We're not here to be a pain in the ass. We're here to stand up against decades of bullshit from corporate greed and, and corporate money in our political system. You have to have a certain amount of money to be the president. You you can't be the president. You don't have enough money. You don't make enough. Who wants to be a fucking president? Hasn't this ever, ever occurred to you? At least once? That maybe we have a point? I mean, we've been here since November. And we're dead. We're steadfast about what we're talking about. At some point in time, that has to make you. That has to make you want to. Do your own research. Wow, I use 28.5 gigabytes. All four of film of these actions. 28.5 gigabytes. Damn, that's a fucking gigabytes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like that. Let's be proud. Does it bring anybody steal it? Yeah. They say, well, I must be saying it's short. Oh, no, no, I know you're fucking cracking. There's something massively bigger going on than just a few times on the sidewalk. There are thousands. How did you crack it? Actually, millions of people around the world. We just met somebody from Occupy Berlin today. There are people all over the world who see that. There's not just a few couple of tents on the sidewalk. There are thousands of people around the world. Honestly, this is a very small portion of what the Occupy is. There are so many people out there who don't care. And that's why. There's, there's so many people doing this movement. He crossed the line. Oh, hey, guys. What? Hey, we, we got people. Right there. So it's a public park over here. There's certain people of yeah, public. Yeah, what the hell? Danger zone, man. What's going to get hurt? Let's go running. Runners are about it. Come on. Let's take him. So that means we can cross, right? That's one thing. Well, if you're jogging. Go ahead, Andrew. Uh, just Andy. Go ahead. No, seriously, you guys, if we cross this red line, y'all will, what will happen? You just saw somebody cross the red line in front of you and run. And it's okay, we're not trying to get you to go tag him because that's, that's me. Yeah. Let the man run. But on a serious yeah. note, if one of us were to cross yeah. this line, I'll bail you out. what would happen? I'm no, talking to you. you. I think you're just trying to give me your ass. Why are your teeth look messed They're up? They're not serving the people. And, and see, I'm a taxpayer. I, I have a job. I, I know you hear a lot of people drive by and they scream, like get a job. But some of us do have jobs. I've filled out my W-2s. I pay my state yeah. income taxes. Yeah. I'm asking people Why? who receive my taxes as their salary a damn question. Yeah, if I were to cross this line like that man yeah. just did right there, what would you do? <laughs> and you're standing yeah, there ignoring me. And that, that, you know, and it's like... My mama has no teeth. And you wonder why there's a resistance amongst the people when it comes to the government. Because this is the kind of thing that goes on. And they tell us that our vote, our vote counts. <laughs> You're blocking egress for the regular people who use this park. And even at the most basic level between the police and a taxpayer, there is no communication. You are ignoring me as I speak. And this is what happens in the legislation process. Or the people. Sir, you're a civilian. Damage it. I have you on film. Hey, if somebody that's a civilian touches one of our tents and damages it, there's going to be a problem. You understand this, right? These guys need to inform who they are. You just allowed it, and I know you heard me, so I'll make sure your face is on camera. And as you know from your little footage, you can't get in trouble. 
Identify yourself. You have to identify yourself. Identify yourself. If you're, I have your camera. Badge number three three six five. Are you retarded, dude? Who are you? Do you not know your job? You have to identify yourself. Okay, this is worth being a plug. Just like all your buddies, you'll hear about it. You just a lot of civilian to touch our, our stuff. You realize this. And you're refusing to say who you are. On camera. You have so many cameras on you, dude. Don't be stupid about this. Identify yourself. You are an officer of the peace. Identify yourself you guys now. You're here to do your job. Get the fuck out of here. What do you think about that? When you can't do shit because your public is now starting to hate on you guys. Because you guys can't fucking do your job. No, that's fucking bullshit. They have a conscious choice, Billy. But it has also become a second side to the job. Where now you are enforcing the one percent program. You are basically enforcers of the corporate state, not the people protecting the so fuck, dude. anymore on, on that side running. of the field. It's and and then that needs to be divided. The police should do protecting and serving. And if the corporations want you to defend themselves, do it legally. Do it in a do it in a nice fashion. Somebody call the police commission and let them know that they have officers down here that are refusing to identify themselves. J. Neely, N E E L Y. This bicycle was not tagged, and yet they are taking it. What do you mean it wasn't tagged? It wasn't tagged. They just took it to authorize it. You guys had the portal for it? Nope. Trish took it. Don't talk to you, brother. Trish took it. Not the one that marks it. Yeah, but you work for the department, right? I mean, you got some fancy little uniform. You won't have to deal with this anymore. This is not tax. You sit down. You sit down. And you know, these huge corporations not only don't pay taxes, 
Do we still talk about that red and gray one? I, pay for taxes. They got stuck in the orange and gray. All these corporations who are getting bailed out are having record profits. Record profits. The corporations are not going bankrupt. They're giving themselves huge bonuses. And then they give us all that money in Swiss bank accounts and all sorts of other bank accounts offshore so that they don't have to pay any taxes on it. This is world we want to live in for our government, the people who you guys work for, Dump truck, another cop car. Oh. This, this is, is what Jeremy's talking about. This is asinine. <laughs> Public parking again. Look how dead this grass is. Oh. The danger zone is melting. Really, when that guy runs through, it is kind of absurd. And we don't need to take him down again. Him and Trouble, what do you want to point out the absurdity of locking up in this little corner in a public park? We are the public. We paid for this park. on the sidewalks, yet I could not live with myself if I didn't try to stop what is actually happening. Those in power make their crimes legal and exposing them illegal. For if I felt I could be heard in the typical fashion, I would not be here on the sidewalk.
wasting money, man. I'm not saying the pocket is making the pocket X amount of dollars. You're right? intimidating them. X amount of dollars for checking an ID. Yes, so. Why you gotta be scared of me, man? I hope so. You don't have to bring so much machinery out here just to talk to us. We don't buy it. Because, because they have to come up against pieces of program. We should bring some stuff next time. So if you guys are here to enforce the law, what is going on here? Exactly. I mean, you can write citations about this. You can't write citations when the city officials are breaking the law. No. You can't write citations when city officials are committing violence on people. No, that's because you can't write citations when. Well, no, no, no. This is citations to his mom. It's the same thing. Stop yelling. Seriously, you guys. Yeah, I know a lot about these kind of crimes. Exposing them illegal and they make their crime illegal, and that's what they'll pay you for it. But they have legalized theft. And that's the Vietnam veteran. I know a lot about security. They should be in trouble for stealing. Oh. I have no problem with you. 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 I have no you're writing a ticket, and yet two officers broke the law by refusing to identify themselves. Yeah, it's kind of by my You have the statute from Command Man. Yeah. Now, sir, you can see it in your phone right I know all of you help people. Doesn't look like a battle. I know you didn't join the job for your power. Five quarters. There is a war going on in Honolulu, and you're part of the war, whether you like it or not. They're not willing to help us. Well, it's just like any other thing, because he's claiming this is the park, and it's like all the people that's gotten overnight, being in the park overnight in this section, they've walked out of court. Because this section hasn't been able to be proven if it's actually part of the park or not yet. All the signs say it's from this wall down. He's beyond the signs, so... I mean, he just wasted taxpayers' money again. Say so what? Oh, yeah, when we were allowed to be... Well, they had... They, they're saying that's part of the park now, too. But, you know, we've had a couple people who just walk right out and nothing happened because, yeah, there's nothing defining this as a park. So he's extending his uh, right to just do whatever he wants and pick and choose. Don't get all mad, man. What's he here for? <laughs> just because that's what I'm here for doesn't mean that it's justified and I shouldn't be mad. What was it for? 
using a blow horn. Amplified sound. Speaking of, uh, basically they said I'd need a permit. Me and Damien have been talking that. What if we just get a permit for every day? Like, just go fill them all out, just get a permit literally for every day. And we're allowed to do that. Plus, we're allowed to be here at that point, you know? <laughs> we can literally have shit in there. You gotta find out the people that approve that Look at how fucked up this grass is. You think maybe that's because you assholes keep driving on it? You know, at the beginning of this camp, we were taking care of it. Yeah, the there really is, Daniel. You have prevented this. And destroyed it. Fucking pig. Look at this. We have officers refusing to identify themselves. Harassment. Awesome deal, guys. Now we're tearing up a park. This is behind us! Why are you driving on it? Look at how screwed up this grass is. Look at this. Do you think that that could possibly have anything to do with the fact that you idiots are driving on it? No. Of course not, right? You know it would be even more awesome if it was legal to grow food in a public space! <sighs> Bye, assholes.